Mind Haven listeners, today is the last day of June, and that means we've got one more day to celebrate Pride. One of my favorite promotions this month, Contribute to our Haven Pride mural and get 20% off the Silver Dragon Dispensary. I'm told this discount is participation-based and will not depend on artistic ability. But just in case, here's how you draw a rainbow. Start drawing a circle, then stop. <laughs> More great music from queer artists coming down the pike. Hold up, I'm getting a vision of the future. It's me answering your calls in just a few minutes. Is there no AC in the store? My God, she's sweating. It's too damn hot to be, what's it called? Talking. And you can't really have the fan on when you're on the radio too because the fan will get into your recordings. I would know. This is basically what I do in the summer too. All right, the heat's no excuse. Better take this call. Yeah, see, she turns it off again. <laughs> this is what I do in the summer too. I like lock my door and I don't turn on the fan and I start recording and it's really, sometimes it's really painful. Local micro celebrity declared cool as hell very attractive. New DJ Psychic Revives Mountain Radio. KRCT, an independent radio station operated out of Rocky Mountain Record Traders in Sleepy Haven Springs, has received an unexpected boost in listenership thanks to the addition of self styled radio psychic Steph Gingrich. Founded in 1994, the station struggled to bring in new listeners for years, but Gingrich, who says she stumbled into radio prognostication on a total whim, has changed that. People like it when you let them play in the fantasy a little, says Gingrich. KRCT listener retention rates are up 20% since the new DJ's tenure. It's the end of June now, so it's been like three months. Wow. Results showing already, Steph. All my closest friends are great listeners and not afraid to get in my face. You're listening to KRCT, Haven's best and only choice for modern rock. Time for a traffic update. You live in Haven, there is no traffic. This has been your traffic update. There's one street in Haven. So glad they sell these in bulk. <laughs> oh my God. Denver Pride Festival 2018. Hey, yo, Satan. <laughs> this collar could be great or they could be awful. And that's half the fun. Let's go. Oh, sound effects. Nothing says high quality radio content like an obnoxious sound effects board. I bet I could use this on air. Mmm. Hey, you're live. What can I do you for? Hey, uh, well, I think I might have screwed up pretty big with my son. Oh. Okay. What happened? Ah, uh, you're gonna think I'm a real jerk. But my boy Grady sat me down yesterday and he... I guess the term you'd use is he came out to me. And I could have handled it a lot better than I did. What does that mean? You could have handled it better? I didn't yell at him or anything. I just <laughs> shut down. I didn't know what to say. Oof. That must have been rough for poor Grady. Anyway, he loves your show, listens to it religiously, and I thought maybe I could put in a song request on his behalf. Just so he knows I hear him. And I love him. Initial shock, but you know, he's coming around. I don't want to like condemn him. Hey. Everybody screws up sometimes, man. I'm proud of you for trying to make it better. That's very kind of you. Just maybe try to be on board from now on. Having a queer kid is an absolute blessing. I wish more dads acted like it. Yeah, for sure. What's the track? 
It's Feelings by Haley Kyoko. Grady played it for me right before he tried to talk to me. He said it was meaningful to him. All right. Let me see if I can dig it up. Thank you. I appreciate it. Pretty sure we've got that record somewhere in the back room. Is this... Do we... Can, can people really just get songs like that? Like, I guess all the popular ones will be around here. For the rest of them, we'll just YouTube or something. <laughs> Desperate to know what comes next in life? Give me a call here at KRCT, and I will tell you your future. Certainly not included may cause side effects such as boosted confidence, which can be fatal in rare cases. Look at that rocking flower, I love it! Scrounged up some great albums for KRCT Pride. I wish my personal collection was this lit. Hey, did we always have two players? Oh, wow. Okay, here we go. Gay punks are better than all the other punks. Cat. This user hasn't entered a tagline yet, how mysterious. Another bot? But you know we gotta swipe right on everybody, okay? We wanna see all the text. <laughs> Pickle. Bush comedian with bad hair and worse jokes. Cal. Man, I don't know. <laughs> Fiona. I'll heal for you if you tank for me. Ooh, a gamer. Oh, finally. Callie. Just here to get to know people and make new friends. Janice. Not long for this continent. Oh, wow. She's like an explorer. Colby. I've been told I smell like a new book. <laughs> a little nerdy. Yes! KC. Bike trash for bike trash. Hit me up if you ride. I don't ride. Oh, we don't have any common interests. I'm still gonna swipe right. <laughs> <laughs> Even if I had the money, I know a sucker's bet when I see one. Want more chances to meet your special someone? Sign up for our premium membership. $17 a month! That's expensive. 17 US dollars. Holy crap. That's more expensive than this DLC. Ryan. Hello, this is Ryan from April 3rd. Lucan. Hello, hello. Hey, this is Steph. Probably after movie night already? Gingrich. Oh, well, now we have each other's numbers. I'm glad you're part of the gang. Nice to feel like I'm not third-wheeling it with Gabe and Char. Or we're both third-wheeling it with Gabe and Char. Damn, if only there were a word for another third wheel. Like, a full car? <laughs> Charlotte. Is Kiddo with his dad? Yup, just saw them off. How you feeling? Oh, I'm okay. It gets a little lonely when Ethan's with Liam, but it's only a month. I'll survive. Hell yes, you will. You're a total champion. But in the meantime, if you need a drinking buddy to pass the time, I can provide that service. Oh, you're a hero. Thursday? Sick, what's your poison? Wine? Red? Cheap but not too cheap? A girl after my own heart. Yeah, so it's like Charlotte finally got a girlfriend here too. A female friend. This group chat has been moving. Movie night, real weird. And then like a month later, lol. Jed just called it the Google. <laughs> That's not what it said on the Google. <laughs> Babe, are you going to text us every time Jed has a boomer moment? In fairness, he deserves it. Lol. Let me just hop on the old Google here. Best mustache wax send. No, no, dad's a loyal captain's mistress, luxury pomade man. Is that real? Oh, there's no way. It's real. Google it. Captain's Mistress Luxury Pomade. Sorry, the Google it. Lol, what the hell? This is magical. Okay, so wait, am I losing it? I mean, you're dating me, so... Ugh, shut up, babe. Guys, this is a group chat. This guy just popped into my commission's inbox. May 1st already. Uh-oh. Wait, why uh-oh? Oh, trust me, the story's gonna warrant an uh-oh. Cause Steph has heard it already. He's like, I want a portrait done of me and my wife, and I'm like, of course, can you provide me with a picture of you two? And he's like, oh no, I'm not married yet. So I'm like, okay, that's fine, send me a picture of you and your fiancé. I can see where this is going. <laughs> he's like, I don't have a fiancé. And now I'm starting to get, like, vibes, like, super weird vibes. 
Uh, told you. So, okay, then, dude's like, but I know what my future wife will look like. I saw her in a dream. No! Holy shit. Okay, but it gets weirder. Then he's like, I think $50 is a fair price. Oh, God, no. And I tell him, no, I'm sorry, but for a full color portrait, my fee is $200. Oh, God, I see where this is going. And this dude says, Oh no, I meant I think $50 is a fair price for you to pay me to let you know about my visions of the future. Fuck. Oh geez, Char, that's, wow. Called it, fucking called it. Feel like I'm going insane. So, are you gonna pay him the 50 bucks you owe him or? <laughs> Classic choosing beggar, oh my god. Plus, potentially weird stalker. Gabe? Uh, it's a little bit painful to go through all of these because we know what happens a year later. I'm sorry, is it fucking snowing? In May? May 16? Yes. It was 90 degrees yesterday! Colorado, baby. I hate it. Give it 24 hours. So, wait, explain this ending to me. Four days later? Machine cult? Yeah, dude, this movie makes no sense. Well, I mean, true, but that's what's dope about it. No, but the dude, like... He feeds the baby to the machine? Why? He spent the whole movie trying to protect the damn baby. I don't know, dude, it's like a metaphor. For what? It's not like one-to-one, -one, it's tonal. It's about letting go of the things that you use to define yourself. That sucks, though, lol. Don't you like any normal movies? Not really, lol. <laughs> Letting go of the things that you use to define yourself, huh, Steph? Oh. Ah, we didn't message the people yet. That's right. Uh, Fiona... Which one was she again? Hey, I'm Fiona, and I'm a big bisexual dork, unrepentant theater kid, podcast enthusiast, and gigantic tabletop gaming fan. I'm really kind of introverted, so can you please give me more to work with than hey? Thanks. Oh, theater kid. And tabletop gaming, and gaming, and podcast. This, this has potential. This has potential, although we kind of know what happens already by the end of next year. <laughs> Start the conversation. Hmm. What kind of opener do I want to use? Hey, babe. That might be a little bit... She's introverted, right? So maybe not too aggressive. Not gonna lie, the boffer sword cinched it for me. La, you're a rare and precious breed then. You're not the first person to tell me that. Shut in the dark, but do you play tabletop RPGs? Duh, it's been a while, but I do. I used to be really into kingdoms and caverns. Good old-fashioned elf and wizard stuff, you know? It's a classic for a reason. Bingo. But, used to? It's been a minute since I played. Oh, bummer. Think you'd ever get back into it? If the opportunity arises, which it will. Well, hey, if you ever need a playmate, I'm your girl. That, um, I, I didn't mean like, oh, oh god. Oh, shit, I didn't mean in like a sexy way. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't? You sure? I yes. I, I mean, not that I don't think you're pretty. I do. I, I just mean... I wasn't trying to like... <laughs> oh, holy shit, you're flustered as fuck. I'm sorry, I was just messing with you. Oh, law, yeah, of course. It's cool. <laughs> sorry, girl. So, Haven Springs? Kinda out in the boonies, huh? Population's only like 1,100. 1,100? From what we've seen, it feels like 20. <laughs> How do you know more about Haven Springs than I do? <laughs> Lol, it's called the internet. Sorry, it's a habit of mine. I go down rabbit holes. <laughs> How many open browser tabs? The kind of girl that does a lot of googling before even saying one thing. So, without checking, do you know if you have more than 10 open browser tabs? Oh god, called out. It's probably more like 50. Do you hate that? I know it's weird. Nope, weird is good. If anything, not weird is a deal breaker for me. Oh, okay. Lucky me, that's not even the full extent of my weird. 
Okay, so back to Haven Springs. Have you thought about maybe moving to Denver? No offense. Dude, I was gonna. But? You know, I think I have more than 50 tabs open all the time. Like, I just have 20 different windows and it's a disease. It's a disease. Anyway, Denver. Mm. I was gonna move to Denver, but would you believe I lost the bet? Lol, what? No joke. I lost a bet with my buddy Gabe, so I stayed. I literally don't know how to respond to that, lol. You should at least come visit. You think? Absolutely. Denver isn't perfect, but I think you'll have a good time, and I'd be excited to meet you. Well, sure. It doesn't sound like she's interested in coming to Haven, though. Out in the boonies. <laughs> I'm down. What's your schedule like? Really? Oh my god, that's rad. Okay, um, I'm free most weekends? Oh shit, except I'm sort of in this play right now? We open this weekend and run for the next three weeks. Perfect, I'll come. I'll come to your play. Wait, can you give me a comp ticket? You'd want to see the play? Yeah, theater's my jam. I used to stage manage in high school. Oh my god, let me just check in with the director and put your name on the list. Sick, can't wait. Me neither. Okay, well, it's off to a good start. Off to a good start, and then Colby here. She kind of reminds me of Shannon Woodward. Sharp-dressed NB heartbreaker, can I join your gay biker gang? Hit me up with your worst pickup line. Okay. Do I want to kick things off? Or leave it to them? She said hit me up. She's waiting for you. Alright, what's the best approach? This one we can go in a little bit more aggressive. What are you, a parking ticket? Oh god, okay, let me just brace for impact. Hit me. Because you've got fine written all over you. Oof. Well, are you a spoiled bag of chicken feed? <laughs> I immediately regret this. Come on! <sighs> no, I'm not a spoiled bag of chicken feed. Because you have impeccable taste! Get it? Like, unable to be pecked? Eh? Eh? La, well, I get it, I get it. <laughs> um... Movies. Oh, but she likes books, right? Maybe she doesn't like movies. Hmm. In my experience, everyone has at least one movie they never get tired of watching. What's yours? You ever seen Biopistol Godbuster? Oh. No, but that's the anime asses title I've ever heard. Astute! It came out in like 92. The dub is awful and it's way too gory, but I saw it when I was like 13 and now I find it kind of comforting. Oh. Crap, phone's about to die. Uh, maybe that's an excuse, though. Well, we'll know for sure if we ask them out. If she says yes, then cool. If she doesn't, then we don't talk to her ever again. <laughs> well, hey, before it does, you want to meet up sometime? Um, maybe. I'm swamped for the next month, at least. Can I hit you up when things chill out? Uh, just be, just be cordial, whatever. Yeah, sounds good. Sure, no big deal. That sounds like we're gonna get ghosted, but in like a nicer kind of way. Well, if you're going through this many people on a dating app though, I feel like it might be clearer if you know definitively whether someone's interested or not. Hmm, whatever. Okay, woo. Let's read an ad. Let's see who we got this time. Advertise as usual, plus 4th of July pool tournament. Now selling popsicles, bar crawl. Selling popsicles at the pub? Rocky Mountain Gazette. Hello for this ad. Please highlight that the RMG is a local paper and covers topics that actually impact life in Haven. We are dedicated to serving the Haven community and no story is too small. Thanks. Avalanche. <laughs> this week I was thinking, what if we did an ad as if it was a radio drama? I don't have a full story for it, so you can just make something up. But I want it to be about aliens invading Haven. 
and ice cream somehow saves the day. Thanks, Sunny. And then Angela, of course, always adds in. <laughs> Steph, please just be yourself and mention the flavor selection in our ongoing BOGO Sundays. Angela. Ah, Angela is the unfun one. Come on, we gotta we gotta do this. We gotta pull through for a sunny avalanche. Radio drama, you got it. And now, a message from our sponsors. Your friends at Avalanche Ice Cream would like. Wait. What is that? What is that? Stay with me here, guys. I'll try to describe what I'm seeing. I think a UFO just landed outside the record store. Okay, there's a door. It's opening. The aliens are coming out. <laughs> Two of them. They're heading into Avalanche now. Wait, what's this? The aliens love the ice cream. One appears to be raving over the new cookie mobster cone, and the other is enraptured by a scoop of pigs in mud. The aliens are getting back on their ship. They're taking off. <laughs> Woo! That was tense. I sure am glad Avalanche Ice Cream was here to save the day. Why not stop in and show them your appreciation? Dang, I'm blowing up today. Should probably answer that call. That ad probably works way better than any of the standard ones. It's interesting, okay? Angela, you know nothing about marketing. Hey, we gotta find that... No, we gotta find the record. Dude. The... Shoot, I can't answer a call yet. I was reading all my texts so often, I completely forgot about it, but, um... That guy was requesting... One of the records? Time to deliver good music. Oh. From the storage room to the masses. Foosball scoreboard. I'll catch up with you eventually, Chen. Anyway, I still need to add the tally for last night's match. Man, that game was something else. Oh, it's so hot here. Yeah. You're getting better. <gasps> I might have to actually try this time. Try all you want. This is my game. Pride cometh before a fall, Stephanie. I can't get it! Oh! Rolled in. Whatever you do, don't think about Jed in a diaper. Ugh, dude! I said not to think about it. Goo goo gaga, Steph! <laughs> Let me pour you a glass of my top shelf formula. I'm not listening. <laughs> Where, Steph? Where'd you go, damn it? I haven't developed object permanence yet. Oh, damn. What happened, Gabe? I thought you were going to try this time. My hands were sweaty. It's the poor craftsman who blames his tool. My first victory on the board. Not gonna make a big deal. Don't want to jinx it. Now that was an easy one, though. <gasps> so many people matching with me. Watch out, Gabe. I'm coming for the throne. Well played, Gabe. Now, I will destroy you. Oh my god, how hard were they playing? Haven't been in there much. It's such a mess. Feelings by Haley Kyoko. Okay, this one I do know is real. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, good. I was afraid we were going to run out of boxes. Wow, this record store has a lot of space. Oh, man. Better leave that here or I'll be shaking it on the radio until I get fired. <laughs> I bet you've seen your fair share of bad haircuts, haven't you? That's not even close to enough stickers. Wait, I gotta put on the guy- the song the guy wants first! Holy crap, why am I getting matched with everybody? What the heck? Hold on, okay, guys? Hold on. Hold on. 
free them. Rare and valuable. Great. That guy's request is locked in here. And instead of a combo, I have four drawings. Oh my god, a note from 10 years ago. Dear future Dave, we had to change the lock combo so past Dave wouldn't slosh Irish cream all over the rare records. Here's a hint. Go star ice cream. Go <laughs> Past Ashley and Luca. St. Patrick's Day 09. Oh, 09. Oh, Go star I ice cream. Well, those drawings were meant to be a hint. Guess I should look around the store. But what am I looking for? Numbers? Maybe I can guess the combination. There are only a hundred gajillion possibilities. Numbers. Okay, no, we're not guessing. Ugh. I'm just gonna pretend that all the mice moved out and went to Mouse College by now. <laughs> Ooh, maybe it's time for a little record store archaeology. That must have been some party. Sobe's music is now Rocky Mountain Record Traders, jazz, rock and roll, rhythm and blues, full country western. Come to our grand reopening, 1968. Oh my goodness. Damn. Oh wow. Oh Cradle whoa. Snack. I think my dad had their record. Damn. This looks so photoshopped. <laughs> Kasha ran this place for a long time. You are cord. Oh shoot. Kasha Sobi Sobieski? Right, so it's still the same person running it. Oh, yeah, reopening. It's not even like change of ownership or anything. You are cordially invited to attend the retirement party of Kasha Sobieski to be held at Rocky Mountain Record Traders. 2004. She's retired. She just employs like one person here to keep it running. If Ducky doesn't pick up his Bobby Darren album, I'm sacrificing it to the big band gods. Heck yeah, people are coming. Gabe, Margot, Riley, Ducky, Sam, Quinn, Charlotte. Have I not unpacked my drums because I still feel guilty about leaving the band? Or am I just lazy? Little bit of column A, little bit of column B. Sex, drugs, and original pressings. Love is blind, but you're beautiful. Those look like ghosts to me. Battle in me, great ruins. What am I searching for? Guys, stop blowing up my phone, please. I'll I'll be there in a sec. Oh, the classical section is gone. If Summer were a person, she would for sure listen to reggae, and I would. F oh, I'm sorry. I just kind of butterfingered it. Man, that guitar's seen some shit. Can we play these? Reminds me of my shitty first drum kit. Actual Haven teenagers buying signed copies of Aenor is the most wholesome shit I've ever seen. Oh, first edition. Harmon Comics, issue one by Ethan Lambert, Thaenor, Monster Slayer, and the Helm of Nova, Neva Dunn. Damn. Oh, that's awesome! Supporting the local community and all that. Maybe a handful of these could lure the cat out of the walls. Okay, so we know it's a cat. Where's a good spot to put these? The vent? Drop a few treats there. Cats love windowsills, right? Or maybe over there? It's a nice quiet spot. In the corner, maybe. Nice and quiet. Consider it a peace offering. That's also by the window. I mean, these are all by the window. Been getting a lot of folks saying good for you about these but not so many takers. There's one that says, be gay, do crime. <laughs> 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 I 
Whoa, she's got a flag here too. Not the most effective cooling system, but in this heat, I'll take anything. Yum yum. Better sound quality, but still a hard ass chair. Wish I had more to work with. Ah, in present time, don't they have a couch here? Huh. Chef Betty's senior cooking class is getting popular. Whoa, Steph, you're amazing. You're like reviving this place. That's awesome. It was genuinely my pleasure. Dear Steph, thank you very much for helping me sell my comic. I'm really happy that it's going well and I couldn't have done it without you. Sincerely, Ethan. And Char. Oh. Hope they do the trick. Kitty's just been living in the vent? Is that even okay? A week after we started the campaign, Mikey printed this new Elamon and sent him to me. <gasps> and it rules. Like 3D printing? The great and noble Elamon has been through many hardships. He's lost multiple limbs, died and come back to life who knows how many times. Twelve. But through it all, Elamon has always counted on one thing. Friendship. The love and care of a cherished friend. Wait, what? I mean, that's nice, Steph, but you know Elamon fights alone. Always has, always will. I'm talking about your sword. Oh, carry on. <laughs> Been working on some villains for this campaign. I may be biased, but they're fucking awesome. Is it just gonna be you two, though? I use this for the listening station. It takes a lot of work to keep one step ahead of Elamon. The Tunnels and Chambers Gathering Hall. User Drummer with a Beanie. Gee, I wonder who that could be. Hey folks, I need inspiration. My principal player is getting obscenely good at guessing where I've hit a mimic. Chests, pots, cabinets, weapon racks, he just always knows. So let me hear your best mimics or traps in general. This is my one vice, okay? Lord Master of Gelshire. I once put a mimic in the last treasure chest of my campaign. Like, the literal last chest they found after vanquishing my big baddie. Undead alchemist trying to poison the world's mana stream. For your information, highly recommended. Needless to say, the party was pissed, lol. But they never saw it coming. Walking Shadow Knight. Last year, I made a quest giving NPC turn out to be a mimic. His head split open into a bunch of teeth and everything. I probably broke a ton of lore rules, but it was worth it. Orcish booty shorts. Mimics are lame. Use a cursed mirror and send them to the Shadow Realm. So satisfying, lol. <laughs> it's like uh, people who like tabletop games gathering on this forum thing. Ah, oh, working on a new logo in Photoshop. PJG. That's horrible. Don't work in a JPEG. You should be doing PNG for this kind of vector art. Mikey's drawing skills have gone from rad to ridiculous since high school. So you see, Traveler, that these preposterous accusations you received are simply, well, preposterous. You mean the part about a dark spirit in an invisible tower? Or the part about placating it through a ritualistic human sacrifice? Both. All of it. I'm sorry you have wasted so much time and effort in coming here, Traveler. No, I don't suspect I have. Your mayorship. Just set it in a megacity filled with millions of people, she said. How hard could that be? Oh, she drew like the actual map. The perfect city. Mystery of Lock Hair Silver. They call it New Eden, the greatest, most prosperous, most peaceful city in all the realms. What's wrong with it? Absolutely nothing. For in New Eden, crime is but a memory. Disease is but a myth. Pain... Yeah, there's something seriously messed up with this place. This campaign has been, dare I say, epic so far. I'm so glad Mikey got us playing again. To repay him, I need to come up with the most badass baddie he's ever seen. I'm down to three options. Time to choose. Been working on some villains for this campaign. 
I may be biased, but they're fucking awesome. Villains. The Child Sorcerer. Many worlds knew the name Oberon. It is spat like a curse or whispered in fear or yelled in agony. But it was always the same, a name for something most terrible, most ruthless. Heroes fought and fell against Oberon regardless of his form. At times, he was a great spider, howling with a thousand maws. Other times, he was a black stag with fiery horns. But in Kirai, Oberon took a more benign shape, that of a child, clad in silver robes and wielding a mangled staff of pine. He began his path of domination anew, gathering his strength from behind the tuzzled hair. And we've also had some other ones, Dragon Emperor, Graven Rush, Lord of Sky and Bone, Graven Rush ruled the Scorched Wild with relentless fury, making meals of his underlings and yada yada yada, the Fallen Knight of Lark Hill. Durgaren, Minotaur Warlord. Durgaren, born breaker of stone and trampler of root, <laughs> joined the horde of the pale bishop when he was old enough to heft an axe. He rose through the ranks thanks to his prowess on the battlefield and would eventually betray the pale bishop and assume control of his thirstless horde. The realm knew Durgaren for what he truly is, a monster. The warlord took no prisoners, left no field unraised, and would even butcher healers as they did their work, an unforgivable crime in the eyes of the tribunal. But what Durgaren wanted most of all was a worthy challenge, and in Elamon he saw potential. Eh, the Lost Priestess, not feeling it. Storm Lord Kixby. Mad Owl, Lunatic, Fellfeather, Fool. The once renowned chief engineer Kixby was exiled from the Sky Council with a flurry of insults. They could not see the brilliance of his plan, the beauty of sacrifice. Kixby was the greatest engineer the Council had ever, ever known in generations. His work. Oh. Wait. Oh! His work was harnessed throughout the Drifting Roost to better the lives of its inhabitants. The Sunbulb, the Exo Wing, the list went on. But when he proposed powering the entire roost for seven lifetimes by collapsing a nearby planet that was barely inhabited, lunatic, they screeched. Kind of, um, the ends justify the means kind of guy? Did I miss anything back here? No. Oh, you gotta be careful. You can scroll on some of these. They don't even tell you, though. Do they? Oh, they do. Okay. I don't know. Maybe, maybe the last guy. Oh, the Mad Owl. Yeah. Alright. Which one of these baddies would be the ultimate challenger for the great and powerful Elamon? Mm-hmm, I have read it. Oberon, Durgaren, or Kixby. The Minotaur Warlord. Child Sorcerer. Or the guy who tried to destroy a planet to power whatever for seven lifetimes. <laughs> Okay. There you go. I could listen to that melody I've been tinkering with. Finally got my feral friend on tape. Told you, Gabe. That's not... Wait, wait. There, see? Not a raccoon. Kitty! Mm. Not bad, kind of sparse, but I dig it. Still feel like it's missing something though. Do you sing stuff? You gonna add a vocal track to that? Hmm. Guess it needs a hook. But what kind? We can go generic. <laughs> Maybe like a really poppy hook. Something that makes you want to dance. Hmm. This is really turning into something. 
We'll keep working on it. The guitar one, I feel like probably would have sounded very similar to the stuff that you usually hear in Life is Strange, because that's, that's why I chose the synth one. Hasn't been a lot of interest in sheet music. I should just clear it out when I have time. Honestly, if this is as bad as Cautious seems to think it is, I'm dying to hear it. No, no one wants it. Balloons! Oh yeah, we got some like... Are those real signatures? Huh. Now if that's not an ice cream cone, I've been very confused my whole life. Hot Sam, don't cry. Like hot damn, but hot Sam. Oh, you can take it. When you're competing with the entire internet, you need to get aggressive. I spy with my little eye. Five, um, eyes? <laughs> Is this an alien from Outer Wilds? Wild side, pride. Ah, uh, we can take these back to play on the thing. Fewer, yes. But so many remain. So very many. Let's see if we can find the clues for... Damn it, past Dave. Yeah, ghost, star, I ice cream. Wait, ice cream? Ice cream? Now, if that's not an ice cream cone, I've been very confused my whole life. Like three? Because three scoops? Taking this to look at later. Eyes? Five eyes? Borrowing this for a minute. Okay. Something, something, five, three. The other two that we had here? Love is love. Hell yeah. Reminds me of my shitty first drum kit. Don't see any obvious numbers here. Guitar. And we can't take this. This one we can. Those look like ghosts to me. Ghosts. Two ghosts. Grabbing this for reference. We have three, so we can basically guess the last one already. But in the spirit of actually solving the puzzle properly, we won't. Figuring out what should and should not go in this section is the most riveting part of my day. Hmm. What a fancy album art. I hate that I actually find this funny. Vume. Thanks, I vape. <laughs> hmm. Those shades are undeniably star shaped. Four? When I say jump, bottle spinners. Could be useful. That's all four records. Watch your back, combo lock. How'd you know it's these four, though? I mean, there's got to be more with, like, stars and whatever. Uh, two? Wait, how many stars was there again? Forgot. Oh, no. They won't let me look at it again. <laughs> well, we'll figure it out. Yup. Um, oh my gosh, there's so many... Oh, add to Ethan's drawing. I didn't see Ethan's drawing yet. So, something hidden in these is supposed to get me in there. Better get code cracking. Can we look at it again? How do these records turn into a combination of numbers? Go star I ice cream. Now, if that's not an ice cream cone, I've been very confused my whole life. Hmm. Those look I spy with my little two, eye. four, five, um, eyes. Two, four, five, three. Let's pop this bad boy open. Two. Wait, 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 it's lagging. It's not that responsive. Two, four, five, three. 
Finally, I can destroy Mordor and get on with my day. Oh, awesome. Here it is. This Grady kid has good taste. I feel like we can't... We can't take the other call until we play this. Because then the guy's gonna be like, what, did you forget about me? I can finally get back in the booth and play this record. If anyone still cares. Yeah, it's been it's been so long. Alrighty. What about Ethan's drawing though? Last thing I've gotta do today is pack up all the pride decorations. Ethan's comic was here. Did we miss it somewhere? Maybe it's back in the booth. It took me way too long to notice this. <laughs> you just leave it here? Just like how long it took me to notice it. Haven's best and only solitary confinement cell. Need to make sure I've read all three ads today. Mm hmm. Feelings. Girl in red. These are all licensed tracks. Remember, today is the last day of Pride Month. I want to give a massive thanks to everyone who supported me and the whole community. You guys rock. Here's a fun one. Today is National Avocado Toast Day. Really? Or maybe it isn't. It's not like any of you are gonna Google it. I love avocado toast, unironically. <laughs> okay, let's read an ad. Or maybe answer the phone? Thanks for calling in. You're on with Steph. Yo, yo, what up? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what that was. <laughs> what can I predict for you? I am in serious need of some divine foresight. I'm having my first girlfriend over for dinner with my parents next week. Mm. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'll be honest though, super nervous. I can see why a prediction is in order. Yeah, so if you could just tell me that dinner goes perfectly, that'd be great. I will consult with Mother Fate. Be right back. And by Mother Fate, I mean my D20. We're just the local psychic now. Seventeen! You go, girl. All right. Moment of truth. I don't want to give this kid bad news, but I don't want to get her hopes up either. I mean, the D20 seems optimistic. Oh, I, I think it's okay. You don't have to think that hard. Just say, just say it goes well. I'm getting an image of this family dinner. Okay. I'm seeing your parents telling embarrassing stories, bragging about your accomplishments, and... and misusing slang while trying to seem cool. Uh, here lies Olivia, tragically yeeted to an early grave by her parents. All told, despite your embarrassment, the evening goes really well. In fact, your lady finds your parents' antics endearing and happily follows them after dinner to look at all your baby pictures. Okay, all of this is exactly what I needed to hear. Thanks, Steph. You bet. Good luck and thanks for your call. Maybe now I can start a new show. I'll call it The Dateless Dating Advisor. Oh, uh, speaking of which, you're right. Maybe we should get back to reading our texts and stuff. Charlotte. Happy Pride, Steph! Thanks! Uh, uh, thanks, I guess? Yo, thank you, I'm doing my best to keep the spirit alive. Yeah, not a massive LGBTQIA plus scene in Haven Springs, Colorado, huh? Dang, look at you, got all the letters right. <laughs> I do try. There is a lot of letters. Oh boy, here we go, here we go. Violet. 
Gay punks, all the other punks, up the punks! Hopeless romantic, emphasis on the hopeless, I'm stuck in ski bro hell. Someone please come save my ass. We don't have any interest in common, but she still swipe right. Cause that's how hot I am, yeah. Pop quiz, best video nasties album, go. The underground record. This girl likes the hipster stuff, right? This is gonna sound super pretentious, but they recorded a 7 inch back before they signed to Coffin Lid, and I swear to god, that ship rips. Lies and bad intentions? Nah, but good pull. It's got a super dumb name, don't shoot the messenger. The monster is kinda also named Frankenstein if you think about it. Super dumb name, but accurate. Yes, because Frankenstein is not the name of the monster, but the... the doctor? We know where she's from. Okay, I'm gonna ask you a really boring question. Feel free to answer it in a not boring way. Law, okay. What do you do? Like in the burning passion sense or in the fuck I gotta pay rent sense? Your call. Barista by day, video collage artist by night. Whoa, super not boring. Law, thanks. Your turn. Hmm, by day? Which do you identify with more? This is probably more exciting sounding. I'm a DJ for the local radio station. Whoa, that's so cool. Law, I mean, we have a broadcast reach of about six blocks, but I enjoy it. And by night? Mm. Drummer seems so close to radio DJ though, because it's all about music, so maybe something a little bit different? Although I feel like drummer might appeal to her more. But it's not about appealing to her more, right? It's about finding the right person. Uh, these days? No idea. I used to play a lot of kingdoms and caverns. Allow me to totally embarrass myself by admitting I don't know what that is? Haha, <laughs> no big deal. Don't be embarrassed. It's a tabletop role-playing game. Oh, with the dice? Well, among other things. You should teach me how to play sometime. <laughs> I'll have to relearn it myself first. Gosh, you're super fun to talk to. Oh shit, I'm doing that thing I do again. For what it's worth, back at ya, you're rad as hell. Ah, oh, Steph, you're not discouraging me from doing the thing. I guess it's only fair to give you a heads up. You're not the first person I've started developing an intense crush on, like, right out of the gate. It's a thing with me. If you can't hang with that, I absolutely get it. Just let me know and I'll dial it back. Uh, we'll see where it goes. This is like giving a rose to everybody at the Spring Festival. Which is basically how I want to play this anyway. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! 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 Aren't super intense crushes kind of the point of this app? You sure? I don't want to scare you off. Crush away. Party A hereby consents to be crushed upon to whatever degree of intensity Party B deems appropriate. Oh, hey, were you at Denver Pride this year? So, I don't drive and I also work all the time, so I missed it. How was it? Good, fun. But, oh, but not like, that fun. Def overrated. You didn't miss anything. Duh. It's okay, I really want to know. Give it to me straight. She was trying to be nice by not making it sound too fun. Are you gonna make the obvious joke or should I? Well, give it to me gay then. <laughs> Lol. I mean, you know, pride is pride. The parts that rule, rule. The parts that suck, suck. Oh, like protesters or something? Tell me about the parts that ruled. Let me live vicariously through you. Let's see, there was a pretty good band that set up on the steps of the Capitol. Oh no, oh no, we snuck in some flasks past security so we didn't have to pay 10 bucks for a beer. Went to a pretty cool drag king show and now I think I kind of want to be a drag king. But other than that, the beautiful weather, the rare sensation of overwhelming safety and community, total snooze. Yeah, I guess I lucked out. <laughs> I should probably go get ready for work. It's been super cool getting to know you. Too bad you live so far away. It's like, what, two hours from here to Haven Springs? Oh, I get the impression that people usually use dating apps for, like, people in the same city, but, I mean, Colorado is big, I guess. 
ask everybody out. You know what? Fuck it. If you wanted to grab a coffee sometime, I'd find a way to make it down. I would really like that, sure you don't mind? Violet, we are the inheritors of a legacy of lonely gays driving hours to meet up with one another. This is my duty to those who have come before. <laughs> Your reverence for our noble heritage has inspired me. If you'd prefer, I don't mind driving up to Haven. Okay, that'd be super cool because the other girl didn't want to come here. Come to Haven. I'll show you my record store. For real? Then you should totally visit. Haven Springs rules. I think you'll like it here. Okay then, it's a date. Awesome. Janice? Oh, the snake lady. Give me a good book, a dry wine, and a plane ticket to a place I've never been, and I'll be your BFF. Wanna come to Haven Springs? Oh no, a cat lover. Dogs for life. We're mortal enemies now. I would have to agree. No, we gotta go the antagonistic route. What's wrong with cats? Whoa, 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 cats are dope. What's wrong with cats? They're moody and temperamental and they're all just waiting for us to die so they can eat our faces. You're right, our peoples are at war. What's with the snake? I gotta ask about the snake. <laughs> oh, that? It was in Bali. This guy was charging for pictures with a snake and it was a really pretty snake, so... Dude, you were in Bali? Oh yeah, it's gorgeous, you've gotta visit. <laughs> I don't even have my passport. Really? Oh my god, but traveling is the best. Crap, gotta run. I have a hair appointment in 20 minutes. Why don't you have your passport, Steph? What happened to it? Dad, uh, I don't feel like we've talked enough, but um... Sure, shoot our shot. Only because it's a video game and it's not scary. <laughs> Before you split, you wanna grab a coffee sometime? Normally, I'd love to, but I'm kind of not using this app to meet up with folks right now. I'm trying to get this teaching job in Thailand, and I don't want to risk things by getting messy right before I leave the country, you know? Oh, so what are you using the app for? Yeah. Friends? I just like talking to people, you know? I have a way easier time making friends with other expats than I do here in the States. Apps like this help me feel like a less weird hermit, I guess. Fair enough. It was nice talking to you. Cool. Cal? Man, I don't know. Tattoo the names of my three exes on my body. Do you want to be the fourth? Oh, great. Um, okay. Yo, what's up? What's your favorite kind of music? Indie rock. Achingly sincere indie rock. Like, of the dang man, maybe go to therapy variety. You? I don't know if you'd think it to look at me, but I love 60s bubblegum pop. Can confirm I would not think it to look at you, but that's kinda rad. What do you like about it? It's just super simple. Just great hooks, perfect structure, everything a pop song is supposed to be. Do people really, like, section out their musical interests by genre like that? I don't know, if I listen to something, I like it, then I like it. If I don't, then I don't. I don't really... <laughs> Says the person who only listens to Japanese music. <laughs> Never mind. I can absolutely see the appeal. Hell yeah. Yo, I'm gonna hop off this app for a minute. Stuff to do. Good talking to you. Likewise, be good out there. Never. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool, cool. We're talking to a lot of people though, my god. All right. We have to read all the ads and add to Ethan's drawing. Where is Ethan's drawing? I haven't seen. Let's check the weather forecast, Haven. The whole week is slated to be hot as literal hell. But we can look forward to spotting a single wispy cloud in the sky for about 15 minutes on Thursday. Wait. So keep an eye out for that. Wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, they definitely made it a little bit different here because I'm looking at this part and then the, I guess that's the real one. I mean, it shows much more of the person in front. <laughs> and I was like, I didn't see that. <laughs> the 4th of July is rapidly approaching. Don't be caught off guard, Haven listeners. Join your neighbors in the park for some grilling, sparklers, and inevitably getting hit in the face with a frisbee. 
Did you know that Pride is often called CSD in Europe? It's short for Christopher Street Day, the oh. street that the Stonewall Inn was located on. Just a little fun Pride fact for all of you. I did not know that. And now, an actual traffic update. The Eisenhower Tunnel will be closed for maintenance this upcoming Monday, so if you've really got to get to the front range, now's the time to give up. More to offer than the Black Lantern jukebox, but barely. <laughs> we still haven't upgraded the Pro. Oh, wait, 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 there's more stuff now. Wait. <sighs> Let's see what the outside world is up to. More to offer than the bit of a learning curve, but we got this. KRCT listener data, hey, we're getting somewhere. Slowly, slowly. Playing the same song too many times can turn listeners away. For real? I'm sitting in a booth talking to myself about pride. Cut off from the outside world is an understatement, but this was a sweet message. From eborlo213 at whomail.com. Subject, your pride programming. Hi Steph, long time listener here. I wanted to commend you for talking about pride and LGBT history on the air. It's a topic that I'm regrettably less familiar with and I'd like to be. The town can feel a bit cut off from the outside world at times, so hearing from new voices like yours is a breath of fresh air. Best regards, Edna B. Edna Morlo? Oh, that's um, yeah, I mean, bring some outside stuff inside. Oh my god, what? Back room, from Steph to Kasha. Hey Kasha, just wanted to drop you a line and ask about that back room. It's crazy packed, and I was thinking about clearing it out. Anything I should be aware of? Steph, first of all, a little birdie told me about your psychic shtick. What a bit. Wish I thought of that one when I was manning the booth. You ought to think about charging by the minute like the pros. As for the storage room, you have my blessings and my condolences. God knows what's back there. Used to be something of a mausoleum where I'd buried products I was too embarrassed to shelf. That was back when I was still capable of embarrassment, of course. Waking up with her teeth in a glass on your nightstand has a way of changing a lady. Let me know how it goes. Oh, she's quite elderly now, huh? Damn. Well, there were treasures back there. And now, a public service announcement from your friends at KRCT. Any sound at or above 120 decibels can immediately damage your hearing. So crank it up to 119 and keep it here. <laughs> I am fresh out of banter, but that should be plenty for today. Let's... Before we read all the ads, add to Ethan's drawing. Where the heck is Ethan's drawing? A watched phone never rings. I know, right? Was it the comic? Where are you? Ethan's drawing. Was it just this? I mean, I don't know why we shouldn't be drawing on the comic though. Actual Haven teenagers buying signed copies of Baynor is the most wholesome shit I've ever seen. Huh. Chef Betty's senior cooking class is getting popular. Ah, I missed the section here. All this labeling is giving me flashbacks to the thankless world of high school stage managing. I thought cats were supposed to be low maintenance. My cat hates me, now what? A guide for new owners. Snack time for kitty. So you want to give your feline friend a treat to earn their trust? For first time owners, the most common mistake is trying to feed your cat in your on your terms instead of theirs. Tip! Try placing your kitty's food or treats in a quiet low traffic area where they'll feel safe eating. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, the, the windowsill was what Steph wanted, but maybe that corner is a little bit quieter? It's right next to the fan, though. Well, hopefully it works out. Damn, I didn't even read the freaking book. Yo, where is Ethan's drawing? Oh, here we go. Drew this with Ethan. That kid is surprisingly fun. Hmm... No reason the story has to end here. Should I draw something else? Looks like some Ghostbuster stuff. Let's give these kids something worth running from. 
Oh, damn. Nailed it. Oh, yeah. All right. Now we've done it. Complete radio show tasks. What? What do you mean radio show tasks? It's just the, the last ad, right? How many ads have we done today? Just one? All right. KRCT is brought to you in part by our sponsors at the Black Lantern. It's been a brutally hot summer. So visit the Lantern and escape the heat with new popsicles. The kiddos can stain their tongues purple while you enjoy a round of darts and a cold one. And if that's not enough to get you in the door, The upcoming 4th of July pool tournament will. All are welcome to come, play, and lose money to Ducky. <laughs> Hit up the Black Lantern today and tell him Steph sent you. What happens if we mess up the ad anyway? It doesn't seem like anything's happened so far. You liking today's show? I know it's not that much, but I have the memory of a goldfish. Before I finish my shift, answer two, at least, calls. Read three ads on the air. Okay, we're pretty much done then. Who said playing games won't get you anywhere? Let's take a quick ad break, Kind Haven listeners. Are you tired of only getting news about big towns far away? Then you must not be reading the Rocky Mountain Gazette. The RMG's reporters are so local. <laughs> that they're in your apartment, right behind you, right now, eating your snacks. And as locals, these reporters see everything. They see that graffiti too, and they cover it. They see those potholes too, and they'll cover it. And that unsolicited dick pic you just sent? Yeah, they saw that too. If you want world-class fair journalism, look no farther than your own backyard, the Rocky Mountain Gazette. That was the last thing I needed to do on the radio. I still have to pack up the pride decorations though. Well, let's get going then. It's a cool job and all, but I imagine we don't want to stay here indefinitely. Did you see Steph's keys just now, though? She had a little drum keychain on it. Music nerd. Guess when I'm done procrastinating, I'll go get that box ready to hold the decorations. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think we're done procrastinating, right? Yeah, we are. We should be anyway. This box. Last thing I've got to do today is pack up all the pride decorations. We had it for a full month. And then Charlotte texted me on the last day. <laughs> this place looks great. Yeah, why don't we just have this all the time? Why limit it to one month? There will be another year. No, actually. Oh, I mean... All good things must come to an end. Which means every pride decoration must come down. Because we know the events of True Colors happens in May, so no, there won't be another month. At least not one where Steph is here. Well, according to my... Actually, well, no. According to my, my first choice, they'd all still be here. Izzy bought this for my kitchen table. Our first pride together. I feel like Steph's personality, though, it's gonna be hard for her to really stay in Haven forever. Cheers. You look happy. 
Just thinking about last week when the waiter came over and we stopped holding hands just in case. Oh my God. Fuck. It feels good not to worry about shit like that. Even just for one weekend. Mm. Yeah, one little oasis in the year where you don't have to feel like it's you versus the world. Haven Springs is such a small town. I really wonder how people feel about this. I, I, the whole reason why Izzy didn't want to stay here is because she didn't want to be the only trans person in a small town. Uh, it's, um, maybe it takes some courage for Steph to do all this too. Eventually, I'll get this hanging over my drum set again. Goodbye. Happy Fried, Seattle! Real quick, thank you guys so much for coming out tonight to support the LGBTQIA youth shelter. Also, I just want to say, holy shit, you all have made this the best Pride ever. Literally ever. A lot of memories. We have one more. This song is called Compton Cafeteria. One, two, three, four. What about the balloons? Those can stay up? I wonder how long Steph and Izzy were together for. I love these so much. Our lettering was on point. Isn't it weird? The event we look forward to all year basically boils down to sitting around on the grass all afternoon. And spending way too much money. And meeting cool people. And recharging my entire soul. Word. All right, signs are dry. Let's go. Portland Gay Pride Fest 1980. Every time I look at this, I feel part of something. Why do we celebrate? Why is it so important? For generations, we have had to live in hiding or reject who we are in order to protect ourselves. To this day, queer people live in fear. That is why we celebrate, to show the world that we exist and that we are not ashamed. We are proud. Just having the courage to be here, to be yourself in this world, that is an act of rebellion, of resistance. I want to be her. Same. God, I was on the Life is Strange subreddit after playing the base game, and I remember seeing a post about somebody, I think they were probably underage, they said they wanted to romance Steph, but they couldn't because they were playing on the family computer in plain view in the living room or whatever, and if they did that, they knew that their parents, their homophobic parents, would take away their computer access. <sighs> this sort of stuff is still happening everywhere. People are always afraid to take the ones Chloe made. Chloe? Check out all these booths pretending they give a shit about us for one month out of the year. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> Come on, it's hilarious. We care so much, we made our logo into a rainbow. We're committed to hassling everyone, straight or gay. Would you two ladies like to become proud new credit card holders? <laughs> I'm gonna go mess with her. No, don't. Chloe, I swear to God. Chloe. Yes, that's everything but the flag on the front door. Yeah, it's the before the storm, Chloe, like the actress. A souvenir from the best cousin ever. There's so many flags. I have no idea what any of these mean. Genderqueer pride, bi pride, pan pride, lesbian pride, uh, bear pride, I think. I look like a normie. I should have worn something cooler. Stephanie, you look just like a 14-year-old homo at your first pride. <laughs> just like everyone else here once was. And they all think you're adorable. You don't need to try. You're exactly where you belong. I'm 
What the hell am I doing here? Hmm. The only place where Steph can celebrate this is inside the record store. Because the rest of the town is like, we don't know what's going on. It's rough. I mean, that's exactly why Izzy didn't want to be here. 